Welcome back to Action Tracks from Terre Haute, Indiana. On the floor, you see the quarter midgets coming out and racing around. Some of our younger fans getting an opportunity to participate in the show. But it's time to go monster truck freestyling. First out is going to be Darren Schnell in Bigfoot. For you Bigfoot historians, this is actually Bigfoot number 11. This chassis was actually built in 1993, so this is an old chassis. It was rebuilt in 2006, so it's not strictly as old as uh, 1993 would suggest. Darren's been working his way into the seat this year, getting acquainted. He's out of Pontoon Beach, Illinois, outside of St. Louis. And for a lot of monster truck historians out there as well, this is the former home of Barefoot Fred Schaefer, a name from back in the day. One of Bigfoot's great competitors. A lot of monster trucks based around the St. Louis area back in the late 80s and early 90s. Uniquely enough, Darren actually lists his crew chief as Elmo. Darren may have some story on that. From my understanding, Darren travels alone for the Bigfoot team, but maybe he keeps his Tickle Me Elmo there to, to help him sleep at night. Bigfoot sporting the Firestone collars here this weekend. One of the many body styles that the Bigfoot team has at Chandler Motorsports. Darren coming out and really putting on a nice solid run making some good hits. You'll notice that we're running with essentially the same obstacles we had in racing, so some of the metal has been beat down just a little bit. The Amp Tour team has stuck a caravan into one of the racing lanes just to add a little more spectacle to the, to the freestyle obstacles. Working in a smaller arena here, this one of the smaller arenas that we see monster trucks in on TMB. The arena kind of shaped a lot like a bowl, kind of like Assembly Hall in Champaign, Illinois. The arena rounds out in the center but closes back in on the ends, creating kind of an awkward space for the trucks to deal with. Looks like Darren's going to screech it to a halt. The Holman Center crowd's going to salute him and he's going to salute them. That's going to be all for Bigfoot tonight in Terre Haute. Our second freestyler is going to be Alan Pizzo in the Predator. Alan bringing that big Hemi-powered cat out onto the floor and attacking the set of cars straight off. Alan's running a big 572 cubic inch Hemi motor in this big cat. And so this truck makes plenty of steam. the Predator truck sliding around on the arena floor. On a lot of these concrete based tracks, the tech crew will use coke syrup, just raw concentrated coke syrup as in what you find as, as part of your, your soda pop to pack down the floor when used just in, a, in moderation. It really gets sticky and, and makes it so the trucks really grip the floor well. But the arena is requested that they put down extra coke syrup to, to mitigate the issue of rubber sticking to the floor when the drivers whip the trucks around in the turn or do a donut. And it tacks up for a while, but if conditions change just a little bit, it gets a little cooler in the arena, the, the substance can actually turn to uh, virtually ice. And if you look in the background, you'll see that the arena door is open just a little bit. And so the temperature is dropped inside the Holman Center. And it's really created a slippery substance for Pizzo in the Predator. Pizzo really seems to be using this to his advantage, though, to keep some great momentum and whip that Predator around the arena floor. Now he's casting into some great donuts, walking it across the floor. A great run for Predator. That looks to be all. That could be a winning run tonight. We'll see what the, the crowd has to say a little bit later. Next up, we're bringing out Pizzo's teammate, Prowler, Lenny Kilder. Lenny's got six years of experience 
with the Prowler team. Been doing a great job. Tonight the truck has sounded just a little bit wounded. He's had some trouble keeping it going. I know the team was thrashing earlier in the day. They seem to have gotten that back together. This may be an unrelated issue. This Prowler truck built in 1998. It's been around for a little while, but it's still doing a good job for Lenny. Lenny 2 has a 572 cubic inch Hemi. So this truck not hurting for power either. Lenny's out of Seven Hills, Ohio, but working with Allen lives in the Nashville area. The team based outside of Nashville in Brentwood, Tennessee. Lenny seems to be doing pretty well here. Whipping the cat around just like Predator was. Not quite the same intensity or magnitude that Allen had in the Predator truck, but a good run nonetheless. Working well with this small arena floor. You can tell the obstacles out there are really starting to get beat down, so the drivers have to work a lot more. And whoa! Lenny's really got some slide going on. That Coke syrup is just ice now, and it's not allowing any traction in these big tear tire trucks. Oh, you see the front tire get into the, the fiberglass cat front clip on the prowler. The cat already sporting some injuries from a cat fight, apparently. Knocking loose the other side. Lenny's going to step out. That's going to be the end. A nice, solid run for Kilder in the Prowler. Our last truck out is Andy Hoffman in War Wagon. We caught up with him earlier. Andy, last time we saw you on TMB, you were in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Uh, a lot more floor space hit there. Uh, tell about the difference between here and there. Well, I tell you, there's a lot smaller floor. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Champaign, Illinois, uh, Assembly Hall. We've ran there a lot of years. Um, it's definitely tight, but I'll tell you what, we're still going to have a lot of fun. Uh, we've got a lot of coke syrup on the floor tonight, so I think it's going to hold up and, and work good. So uh, all we can do is just try it and see how it works. There you heard it from Andy Hoffman. We talked to him a little bit earlier during the pit party, but the coke syrup texture has definitely changed. And I think Andy will find a little bit of a surprise when he goes out there and whips that war wagon around. It's not going to grip as much as he thinks. He's going to adjust very quickly. He's watched his other competitors out there, so he knows what's going on. There you see him whipping it around, sliding the war wagon truck around. We mentioned it earlier, Jeff Cook, who's helping to organize the Monster Truck Hall of Fame, used to run this war wagon body for a number of years. Jeff stepped out of the sport for a little while and sold the, the name and chassis to Andy and Andy's been campaigning it ever since. He brings out the nightmare truck that he ran for quite a while himself, once in a while as well. Um, Andy's got a new chassis in development, so he'll be able to switch back and forth between the War Wagon and the Nightmare a lot more easily in the future. The new chassis will be more custom fit for this War Wagon body. The War Wagon certainly a neat piece, a unique 55 Chevy Nomad. He's running a 540 cubic inch Chevy motor used to run the Hemi if you talk to Alan or Lenny they'll give him some grief over uh, switching to what they call the dark side and, and running the Chevy power plant Andy actually used to be a two-wheel drive truck puller if you watch some of the old monster truck TV broadcasts, you'll see him on some of those he's been in the sport for a number of years monster trucking He's got a monster tank he calls the Nightcrawler. We've seen it previously on TMB. Andy keeping his hands full and, and always has something going on.
Andy putting on a good show here. He's going to be a top competitor for the freestyle win tonight. Just as I say that, he starts limping kind of over the, the car set here. He may be setting up for one of his famous reversers. I think that's the case. Andy Hoffman, another one of those drivers known for a great reverse maneuver. And right there, you see it. A nice hit for Andy Hoffman. Something a little different that we haven't seen out of anyone else tonight in the Holman Center. Whipping it into a donut. I think he's going to call it quits right there. End it on a high note. He's going to be a favorite tonight for the freestyle victory. Hoffman salutes the crowd. Always a class act. Let's go down to the floor for the freestyle judging. There you hear it right there. Crowd applause going to Alan Pizzo, breaking up the sweep for Andy Hoffman tonight in the Holman Center. That's a wrap from the Holman Center in Terre Haute, Indiana. We saw some great action here tonight at the Monster Truck Thunder Slam. Andy Hoffman in War Wagon taking the wheelie and the racing victories. And then Alan Pizzo in the Predator putting on a great freestyle and sneaking into the winner's circle in the final event of the night. This is our first chance to work with the AMP Tour on Action Tracks. We had a great time working with them. We hope you've had a great time on Action Tracks. We couldn't do it without E3 spark plugs. And until next time on Action Tracks, we'll see you then.